Look at that. <laughs> I'm fishing early summer, so I'm concentrating really in about four to six feet of water. And here's a really good rule of thumb I use when I'm crankbait fishing. Um, I have natural patterns like lavender shad, na you know, natural shad patterns like lavender shad. And then I'll have hot shad patterns like tropical shad or chartreuse and blue. This shows the bass a couple different colors and then the bass are gonna show you which color they're, they're taking a preference on for that day. There he is. Just like he's supposed to be there. So here I, I switched the color around. I was throwing lavender shad and I went to a tropical shad and got a bite right away. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna switch back to lavender shad and I wanna see if they're gonna take the lavender shad a little better. This fish, notice the hooks are out of the fish's mouth so he slapped at it. So now let me pick up the lavender shad and see what I got going on here and then we're gonna see which one these fish want better than the other one. It's important, it's important to establish color right off the bat because then you're not constantly having to switch up. There he is. That's a good fish right there. Oh, he's not as good as I thought. He's crazy. So here we found that <laughs> lavender shad and tropical shad are, are working today. We're gonna catch, them. we're gonna get some big fish today. I know it. Oh, he's not too bad. Oh my goodness gracious, I love this sport so much I can't even stand it. Now he had that, he had the middle hook in his mouth. So that's telling me that they're biting the lavender shad a little more aggressively. There he is, I got him. That's just what I'm talking about right there. Oh, that's a nice fish. Or do I got two? Dude, I think I got two. Oh, yeah, I got two. Look at that. <laughs> Two at a time, it don't get, <laughs> that is outstanding. I thought it was a good fish and here I have two on. Holy smokes, how am I supposed to do this? Double header. <laughs> That's what happens when you switch crankbaits on them. You know, I've been catching them on the middle end on this particular rock pile and I had a couple of short strikes on it. So I went to the deep little end to change the action on it. And that's how I got that double. It just, uh, you know, it just appeals, it, it appeals differently to the bass. And sometimes they get more aggressive on it. You run the same action bait through it, through it, through it. You catch all the aggressive fish, change the action on the bait, and then you get other biters out of the same school. There he is. Oh, oh yeah. So here's what you guys got to remember. You're fishing these early summer patterns. You want a natural shad on, and you want a hot shad pattern on. You want two crankbaits that run the same depth but have different actions to them. And, th and this is how you, this is, oh yeah, that's a good fish. And this is how you take care of business in the early summer, right here. Two different wobbling crankbaits, same depth, hot, hot shad pattern, natural shad pattern, and this is the kind of fishing you can expect early in the summer.